welcome back to the shed now it's uh, been a while since I've done a video um, so I thought I'd do a quick update of what I've been up to and uh, since uh, building my uh, triple wig bag which was back in sort of April uh, 2021 uh, I've spent uh, a few weeks uh, building this which is the uh, the twin wig wag and uh, as you can see it's um, the cylinders are sort of opposite each other rather than on on each side and um, well it's worked out rather well actually the flywheel is slightly slightly bigger than the uh, than the original than the original sort of uh, wig wag the flywheel was sort of 15 millimeters on the on the original wig wags and um, I've de I decided to make this one um, I think it's about 23 millimeters something like that and the only reason for that was to uh, just so I've got a little bit more gap uh, sort of in between so I can you know I can get the springs on and uh, the uh, the tension nuts etc and uh, the actual gap um, between between the columns is 30 millimeters um, it, it basically it's built basically on you know identical sort of proportions to the uh, original wigwag uh, the only difference is being uh, the main column was built out of 12 millimeter. This is actually built out of uh, three eighths of an inch um, aluminium flat stock, uh, simply because that was all I had really in the in the scrap drawer. Uh, but but the um, the rest of it, the cylinders, the pistons, the um, crank discs, etc., and you know all the dimensions are all identical. So. Um, well, it's bridged. Obviously, there's still only one air input, and there's a, a, a little brass uh, tube there, uh, one eighth of an inch tube, which basically bridges the the ports so that they're uh, obviously both um, both connected to the air supply, and they're opposed. So obviously, you know, one each side. So there's, it's always on a power stroke. Um, so obviously, as as this uh, this cylinder closes, it'll send the air across to the other cylinder. Anyway, enough of me uh, waffling. I'll I'll get a bit of um, a bit of air onto it. So uh, I've already put a little bit of oil in the pipe, just to uh, just to help lubricate the engine, and connect that to my air supply, and give it a little bit of air. And you can see the uh, see the oil coming up the up the tube, and of course it's um well it, it's. It's not always going to be self-starting. Depends on where it is. I mean, if it's uh, it's top dead centre, bottom dead centre, then it's uh, it's going to struggle to start. But it, as long as you set it sort of anywhere in between those points, give it a bit of pulse of air, it'll uh, it'll start running. And as you can see, it runs quite nicely. Just going to squirt a bit of oil out because, uh, like I said, I've just lubricated the the pipe. But yeah, I mean it's, um, it's a nice, a nice addition, I think, to the uh, to the wigwag. Let's just turn that round so I can get the pipe out of the way a bit. Possibly turn that one instead. But it does run really nice and slow. I can get this down to a sort of a point where where it doesn't stop. Oop, a little bit less. A little bit more. And that, that that's probably running on about uh, two or three psi, something like that. It just certainly doesn't need much. As you can see, it's a it's a lovely little thing. Lovely addition to the uh, the wigwag wigwag family. Well, I, I don't know what more to say. To be honest, um, there there it is. Gorgeous little engine. So, like I said, just a quick update of uh, what I've been up to. Sorry, I haven't been around much lately, but um, 
So now I'm always busy with something. If it's not, uh, it's not building engines, it's it's doing something else. So uh, thanks for sticking around. And uh, if you've uh, if if this is the first time to my channel, please hit the uh, subscribe button down somewhere wherever it is down there. that red button. Anyway, you know what it is. So uh, okay, guys, thank you very much. Thanks for watching.